Hello, Dart Vivid Productions here with another Effects Lab tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to import Effects Lab videos into Windows Movie Maker or any other video editor so you can place them into so you can upload them to YouTube. So let's begin. First, let's open up our FX Home product. Sorry, this is my third time to do this tutorial. It's getting very annoying. So, I had to open it again. Now, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be using a video for this tutorial. So, when you're done, you want to use your. Uh, still loading. There we go. You want to use your I on the keyboard for in point, and O for out point, and P for the entire video. But since I don't have anything, it just does this part. And when you want to. When you're ready, go to render, render settings. Keep all these settings the same, but for direct show uncompressed is for HD, direct show DV is for DV, but you can still use direct show uncompressed for HD even though it takes a long, a lot longer to render, but um, it will still come out with good results. Um, it will be a little bit laggy until you export it from your video editor, so just be in mind about that since it's uncompressed. <clears throat> and we're saying retain source track where possible track sound where possible a lot of people have been asking me about asking me about this but what it is is if you if your raw video file isn't split and you press the p button so that you can get the whole video then it then it will retain the source sound um source track sound this is the source track that's what it's called and if you don't, then there is another method which I will show you later on in the tutorial. So you're going to click OK and it'll come up with a bar render. You, uh, It'll ask you where to place it, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to, once you're finished with that, you're going to go into Windows Movie Maker. and you're going to import your video and now if you don't have any sound you're going to get your raw video file and you're going to place it in the audio music track right down here below the video file and that should and then you should edit the you should edit it so it will fit in with the video file and be synced up as close as you possibly can and then you're just going to go to save movie file and you're going to save it as a Windows Media video or whatever you want to save it as and then you're going to upload it to YouTube I hope this has been a helpful tutorial this has been Dart Pivot Productions goodbye